Here I have a bunch of clones that I want to rotate using effectors but without using any keyframes. There are two methods for this. The first method is by using the uh, random effector. So by with the cloner selected, choose the random effector, go to parameters and uncheck position, check rotation and add a value in the p direction. And but if you play the animation, you'll see notice that nothing uh, is animated. That's because you need to add the uh, time field layer in the fields. Now, if you play the animation, the animation will start and stop at 30 frames. The whole animation will stop at 30 frames because the rate is 30. And there is a clamp. That means the values are cut off. So you have to disable the clamp, go back to the beginning, and then. Uh, play the animation. Uh, sometimes the clones, uh, so let's change the seed to another seed and play the animation again. You'll see that some clones are uh, rotating counterclockwise. If you don't want that, then in the min and max uh, option or tab, just zero out the minimum or the maximum, whichever you want. Now you'll see all the clones will animate in one direction. This is one way. Another way is by using the time effector. Let's delete the random effector. Now select with the clone selected again. Choose the time effector. Go to parameters and uh, zero out the rotation on the edge and add rotation on the uh, on the P. And uh, let's make it like make it faster. Now if you play the animation, all the uh, clones will rotate at the same time. In the fields, uh, you have to add the random field. Now you'll see that the, uh, uh, the clones are animating in different speeds. That's because the uh, random field is affecting them differently.